Hi, today I'm going to read Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct by Mo Williams. Words and pictures by Mo Williams. Looks like cookies. Hmm? Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. Everyone in town knew Edwina. She was the dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. Edwina helped little old ladies cross the street. And she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Everybody loved Edwina, except Reginald Van Hoobie Doobie. Reginald knew just about everything, about just about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct, specifically dinosaurs. Dinosaurs totally extinct, a report by Reginald Van Hoobie Doobie. But as soon as Reginald started, Beth McFeeder asked, what about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. And then Tommy Britcher said, yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She bakes chocolate chip cookies for us. Then Miss Mink added, maybe Edwina is baking chocolate chip cookies right now. Before he knew it, everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. Oh, no one listens to me with that dinosaur around, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove to the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct. And poof, Edwina will disappear. That morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. <laughs> they also made excellent hats. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. This is not happening. When protesting didn't work, he tried everything he could think of. Dinosaur extinct, clang. He sang and he danced. But no one listened. Finally, Reginald broke down and cried. Boo hoo, he sobbed. Why won't anyone listen to me? I'll listen to you, said a voice behind him. It was Edwina. Reginald took Edwina to his classroom. Inside, Edwina listened as Reginald told her the truth about dinosaurs. Do not disturb. And there they go. He was persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. He was very convincing. Edwina was shocked. When he was done, Reginald felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him so well for so long. Everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew she was extinct. She just didn't care. And by then,
neither did Reginald Van Hoobie Doobie. The end. And there he is baking cookies.